Being Percy. It was a sunny day on the island of Sodor. The engines were huffing and chuffing as they clickety clacked along the tracks to Brendam Docks. The docks were busy. Cranky was creaky with crates and Salty was shunting as Percy puffed in to collect the mail trucks. Excuse me, Thomas. Excuse me, James. I must collect my trucks on time. Thomas and James didn't move out of Percy's way. Percy tried again. Excuse me. If I'm late with my mail, I won't be a really useful engine. Just then, Gordon thundered into the docks. Out of my way! Express coming through! Salty moved out of Gordon's way. Percy saw this. I wish I was as loud as Gordon. Then everyone would chuff out of my way. Gordon collected his passengers. Then he huffed grandly away. Out of my way! Express coming through! This made an idea fly into Percy's funnel. I shall be as loud as Gordon. Then the other engines are sure to take notice of me. So Percy pumped his pistons and peeped as loudly as he could. Out of my way! Mail coming through! Thomas and James were surprised. Cinders and ashes! Flatten my funnel! It's Percy! And the two engines steamed swiftly out of Percy's way. Being loud made Percy feel very important. Percy liked feeling important. Now I shall be like Gordon. And Percy puffed proudly away. Percy clickety-clacked cheerfully. I like being Gordon. It makes me feel bold. I'll do what I want to, not what I'm told. Then Percy saw Toby on the track ahead. Toby was steaming slowly. Percy had to steam slowly too. Percy didn't want to steam slowly, so an idea popped into his pistons. Out of my way! Mail coming through! Toby was so surprised, he juddered and shuddered to a stop. But he didn't puff out of Percy's way. Hello, Percy. Percy was disappointed. Then, Percy saw Gordon clatter past on the express line. Out of my way! Express coming through! Fizzling fireboxes. Gordon is fast. I shall be fast. So at the next junction, Percy switched tracks. Now he was on the express line, and with a whoosh and a weesh, Percy whistled away like the wind. And like Gordon, Percy felt important. I like being Gordon. It makes me feel bold. I'll do what I want to, not what I'm told. Percy was going so fast on the express line, he raced straight through Maithwaite Station. Out of my way! Mail coming through! And left the mail sacks behind. Percy felt happy. He was fast. He was loud. I like being Gordon. It makes me feel bold. I'll do what I want to, not what I'm told. 
At Marin Station, Percy saw Alicia Botti on the platform. She was going to have dinner with the Fat Controller. Hello, Percy. I'm waiting for Gordon to take me to Napford. Percy felt loud. Percy felt fast. Percy felt he was just as good as Gordon. He could take very important passengers, too. Step inside my cab, Miss Botti. I will take you there in no time. And Percy whooshed away with Alicia Botti to Knapford Station. Percy felt proud. He was fast, he was loud, and he had a very important passenger. I like being Gordon. It makes me feel bold. I'll do what I want to, not what I'm told. And Percy raced and rattled right past the Fat Controller. Then there was trouble. Gordon was roaring towards Percy. Out of my way! Express coming through! Out of my way! Mail coming through! But Gordon didn't get out of Percy's way. Suddenly, Percy was worried. Oh, my! Oh, no! Oh, help! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Gordon swerved and swayed into a siding. He bashed the buffers and toppled off the tracks. Percy felt terrible. Now, he didn't feel bold at all. He felt very silly. I'm sorry, Gordon. I wanted to be you. I wanted to be fast and loud and very important. But now you can't puff at all. And it's all my fault. Gordon grumped. Hmm. Percy puffed. I will put all of this right by just being Percy. First, Percy took Alicia Botti to the Fat Controller at Knapford. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, Miss Botti. I was trying to be Gordon, but I know that I'm only Percy. Next, he puffed into the Soda Search and Rescue Center. Excuse me, James. I made Gordon derail. Would you pull Rocky with me to help Gordon? I'm not strong enough alone. James sniffed. Then he felt sorry for Percy. Very well. Buffer up. And together they heaved and hauled Rocky to help Gordon. Thank you, James. Thank you, Rocky. I must hurry now to pick up the mail. And Percy huffed and chuffed to pick up the mail sacks. Slowly, Percy steamed away to Knapford. I'm really just Percy. I'm small and I'm green. I'm silly. I'm slow. I don't want to be seen. Percy chuffed into Knapford. The fat controller was waiting. Percy's firebox fizzed with fear. Percy, why do you want to be Gordon? You're perfect being Percy, and that's what I want you to be. All the engines hooted and tooted in agreement, and Percy smiled. He was happy being Percy. Tabi